Okay, hit it. Hi, I'm Jerry Shaw. I, we're in St. George, Utah. Um, I found these marks in 1986. I had found a lot of petroglyphs around here, and I knew there had to be more. I stumbled across this one day. I was looking for more petroglyphs. Um, it was in June of 1986. Um, I knew they were special. I would never seen anything like it before. Here in this town, I had run across some others before. I didn't know what they meant. Other, others like these? Yes, others like these. And where were they at? West and South. Okay. Um, I had spent a lot of time looking at all the glyphs around here, and I recognized the signs that are on this particular glyph as Spanish signs because there's a lot of Spanish history around here. Um, I put about a year worth of effort into it, and it, it actually says that uh, when he came here, he found a mine, he found a buried ore, which the Spanish considered a treasure. He gives specific directions to it, and he left marker rocks pointing to where to look. Explain to us what you think each individual glyph means, because you know, we, we all have different theories. Sure, sure. And I think yours are really outstanding. Um, hear that. On it. On it is the first two is obviously he walked here. Um, he's describing what he found and what it is. It's a, a buried mine that the Spanish found. Um, there's there's seven mines. It's got seven tunnels. Um, so what symbol tells you that there's seven tunnels? That would be next to this box right here. It has a it has two lines and one across and a dot down below. That is a Spanish symbol for a buried mine. Next to it where that box is, is he's talking about the treasure itself. Um, the circle with the dot, with the cross and the dot is water. So he's saying that he walked here, he found ore. I don't know what the next one is. He crossed the water. I don't know what the cow and horse. Um, he looked around. He found the treasure. He found the mine. He stopped. He decided which direction to go. He looked around. And then he crossed the water again. So my, my theory is, is he went on his way to Las Vegas and left a panel there. Okay. Explain to us who who do you think he is, or what kind of person he is? Um, wow, with so many found, this, this guy is so well-traveled, and he's really smart. Um, for him to incorporate all that and all these other symbols, like the swastika and everything else, uh, he's well-educated. And for him to leave those marks like they are, which are you just don't find them anywhere else especially around here they're all pictographs and stuff like that uh, really stand out to me that he really kind of took his time and he's just to describe what he's seeing and what's here and every all the other ones are the same way what else would you like um, well you mentioned the one but the Spanish symbol for gold yes oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to go into that? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> again, there's a lot of Spanish symbols around here, and the the OJO is is an acronym for OR. Um, and so what he did was he found the mine, and he found there there's six different places where they took the ore. They brought the ore here from other mines and laid it out in the sun. To let the to let the um, elements work their magic, heat, cold, it naturally breaks down rocks, and they're they're all spread around here in a little short area, um, and so that's that's what he's talking about, 
in this glyph alone. Anything else? Well, the symbol, I, I may have missed it, but the last symbol on this panel that shows the circle with four quadrants with dots in them, what do you make of that symbol? That's water. You think that's water? Yeah. Okay. Well, then what about the one next that, that doesn't have the dots? I, I don't know. Oh. Um, yeah, I, 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 again, I'm thinking that, you know, it's a directional, you see how it's pointing right there? And it's pointing at right there. Yeah. Okay. Just, just from, from looking around and reading the petroglyphs, they're all, they're all, um, let's just call them highway markers. Mm-hmm. Okay. To let you follow one lead to another lead to another lead and on and on. He seems to follow. He seems to follow the Spanish trail here, and I noticed the, the Virginia City and yours, Hawthorne, and all that. That's the Donner Pass Trail. Well, Tone Pass, yeah. The the what is that? The Overland, not the Overland. There's another. It's another name for it. It's an old wagon trail. Yeah. The, well, to go to California. California Trail. Right, and, and that's what I'm seeing a, a pattern that he's following all these trails, these well-known trails. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what do you think? We've had a lot of discussion as to what does it mean when we find symbols that are dissociated or distant from the main text, so to speak. What's your take on those, the meaning of those? Or uh, Really, I, I think that's his personal symbol that he uses, like, I was here and I did this. Kind of like a Kilroy, huh? Yeah, absolutely. God, that feels good. I <laughs> Where would you like your sunburn? <laughs> uh. oh, okay. Well, it seems like he has a different symbol for different sites in terms of what shows up on the outside. So, do you have any thoughts about why they would vary? Or I, I really don't. Um, <clears throat> that's why I call him kind of a genius, is because he's just he's incorporating all these different signs into his own personal language and and that means he's well read or he has really active imagination and that's not I don't believe in that I, I believe that he's well read and and he's not making it up as he go he's he learned this somewhere where would you learn it I, I books uh, just experience uh, the Vikings have left their own language uh, all through the Europe they, they left signs in their own language and he, he might have been a missionary in a different country and learned this stuff. Uh, or he was in a monastery and learned this stuff. Um, my theory is that he also might have been a surveyor, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, as training as a surveyor, you have to be kind of smart from the get about it, of yeah. trigonometry and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so, again, that just tells me that he's really smart doing this. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Right. I like that. Yeah. When you have the tool, John pointed out that as a surveyor, he would have tools. To right. Make, that, make him capable. Of Absolutely, this. sure. And and again, if you're on foot, like he's like he's saying he is, to carry all this stuff around shows that he's really committed to his craft and what he's doing too. Mm -hmm. And and you you can really appreciate that being on foot in the desert, and you kind of have to would follow the trails just for water alone, mm -hmm. you know, and so there there is a real pattern to it. Well, what would send a surveyor out to these areas? Um, they send surveyors out for railroads mm -hmm. uh, to build towns. Just a geological survey, just for topographical maps or anything like that, too. Mm -hmm. Just follow the waterways, the, the the rivers, things like that. Uh, the Virgin River is a major river around here, yeah. so um, that's kind of what I I believe. Yeah, and we're starting to see that that the railroads come at least close within a few miles of most of these. Right, I, I I saw that on your guys's stuff. That um, th that's what bothered me about Durango was, <coughs> I, I other than mining, there's no connection. Other than a railroad, right. um, I, I've never been there. I don't know the, the scenery and stuff like that. But, it's but, a very narrow, tight canyon. Right, and that and that's what I get is like it's just 
he's using his knowledge of, of like that topographical that that lightning bolt looking one mm -hmm. um, looking down and he, and they're writing all this stuff down and so um, again I just kind of think it's like a trail marker yeah. okay. and have you been able to follow the trail any particular place you oh yeah to? absolutely yeah and we're gonna go once we get down here I'm gonna take you over there and I'm gonna explain to you what these symbols mean and, and I'll show you that this OJO is actually on the treasure that he okay. saw, that's and, I, and I'll explain it. I'll, I'll break it down for you guys. Oh, good. Yes. Oh boy. That's next if we survive. Survive. Well, yeah, it, yeah. It, <laughs> I I don't talk like this out of my neck. I I I'll, I'll back it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good. Sounds really good. good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Thank you, Jerry. Yes.